cold enough for you this morning? Oh man, it was like minus three this morning. It was really, really cold. Couldn't feel your fingers, eh? Had yesterday. Duvet, a blanket. Two duvets. Another duvet <laughs> and another blanket. And slept in long tracksuit pants. So we decided in future May, June, July are the months to stay at home. It yep. was just so cold. Otherwise, you just got to wait and to pack up later. Yeah. Otherwise, you, you can't pack up early in the morning. So you. But just it wasn't that early. We only got. No, uh, but the quarter past six. Sun doesn't. Sun's not working. That quarter past six in the morning. Yeah. Now. It's well, out, but it's not working. No. Found two cheetah as we are leaving Mata Mata. A lot of springbuck coming down to the water hole. There'll definitely be a kill here today. Unfortunately, we have the trailer behind. You won't be able to even turn anywhere. We've just seen that they've got two cubs with them as well. Oh my gosh. And they've got a carcass. They've already killed something. So she's busy. The one's busy pulling it for the cubs. Right, we've just come across two cheetah in the grass here. And we thought they were waiting for the the springbuck to come down because there are lots of springbuck further back but then all of a sudden they pulled the carcass out and two cubs behind it actually looks like they might be doing it again now yeah there they go they left the carcass i think there's one cub one looks down. like it's gone down there yeah Where's the other cub? It's back, further oh, back. it's still back there. Yeah. He doesn't want to leave the meat. Oh, there. There, the carcass is out now in the open. There, she's pulling it. It's up. Looks like a springbuck, eh? And the one is hanging on to the carcass. Yeah. <laughs> no. His mum pulls it. This is our campsite at Nossip. We've got two campsites. These are sites that are really open when you arrive here. We were quite lucky to get these two campsites. Got nice shade. And right at the end, next to the hangar. Come closer. Okay. <laughs> you make my heart go pop. We're on our first morning drive from Nossip. Not expecting too much today. Uh, yesterday, one lion, one honey badger, and a cheetah in Brazil. But it's a beautiful morning, the but, sun is shining, it's yeah. looking gold on the long and, grass. And we're in the bush. And we're in the bush. But yesterday was good, we had four. Yeah, four cheetah. Uh, two adults and two cubs. Huh? We've just come a line across, we've just come across a lioness and the two baby cubs there. Eh? Unfortunately, they, they're hiding in the grass. The long grass. The long grass, so you can hardly see them every now and again. They jump up 
onto mom, which is quite nice, but yeah, to get a decent bit of footage is not not easy at all. We're hoping she'll make a move in the right direction for us. <laughs> There's some young hard to be us there. Good couple of young ones. One, two, three, four, I think I can see. Jackal, shut up otherwise you're going to get shot. Hmm, so 
So this morning, not too bad, eh? Mm, a female lion. Lion in the road. Caracal. Yeah, three teeth and a caracal, eh? Pity we didn't see the caracal earlier, but we had... I was so excited when ready. I saw it. I thought, is it a cheat? Is it a caracal? Is it a cheat? I said, either way, go, go, go. <laughs> Couldn't get the car started quick enough. Oh, no. And then you're yeah. trying to yeah. tell them instead of just going. We'd watched the spring buck. They'd script because they were they drinking script earlier. They'd script because of the caracal and not because and of were standing they should have gone closer to the hole. Standing watching the... the... Caracal. The water hole, and we didn't uh, put we two and two together. We thought there was a cheetah in the long grass, but we should have driven closer to the water hole and had a proper look. Then we would have seen the caracal drinking. Yep, maybe. Mm, in hindsight. All these things in hindsight, eh? If and if and if. Mm. And now this jackal's running around saying, Everybody, here's a cheetah, here's a cheetah. Look at her. Here's a cheetah.
to, it's another thing. Like you do. It just cut the engine off the front. Sunset. No September sight. Caravans. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, anyway, I, I think it's a 22 that's just come out. I'm hoping to correct you. But it takes the most magnificent photos. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. I don't know. Probably about 6 by 6 square. Yeah. And then she does a whole colour on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, we're just leaving Nossip now, uh, 7.02, heading up to Palenswa. Uh, yesterday at Palenswa Waterhole, the guys saw nine lions there, so hoping to maybe that they're still there. Doubtful, but never we try and never know that they might have stuck around. Well, let's hope they stick around the camp too. Let's, let's hope they're just there for a, for a while. Our first sunset at Lensway Waterhole. That's the moon coming up. I think it'll be full moon either tonight or tomorrow night. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Our first night at Palenswa number three. We arrived here today and the guys are busy renovating the A-frame. Uh, they said they would come back tomorrow. They've done one side, they'll come back tomorrow and do the other side.
Jackal's got his first pigeon. The first dove. Nice meal. Sure. He must be squeezing up. You got another one. Did you get him? Number two. Bacon and egg. Quite a big herd of wildebeest coming in. Why are they running so fast? I don't know. Oh, I think they're just playing. Yeah, making dust. Mm. Yeah. He's like a day old, eh? Cheetah on the hill. Got one. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? At least the Leonard.
gut. My gut, ja. Run, run, Mikey, run! Sunrise at Valencia Water Hole. A massive herd of springbuck. Uh, we've just taken the car turn off to car gate, and these guys were all lying down in the riverbed. Yep, very big herd. Puffadder in puff in the road. Selling himself.
Bye bye. Got one. Cheers, pumpkin. Cheers. 
bit of sherry to warm us up. Oh, needed it to warm the cockles. <laughs> Weather changed overnight. Even had hail up. today. We even had hail. Hail in the Halafani, never to be heard of. Never heard of before. And it is freezing. Apparently there's snow on the berg. Uh, we don't really want to go home to clean up because it's just going to be so cold. So last night at Palenza, it has been freezing, freezing cold today. Rain. Beautiful sunset. Eating the seeds, eh? Mm. Hey, enjoying that, eh? Mm. Getting moisture in the nuts, the seeds. You're taking a selfie of you, Duff. Yeah, I'll walk right up. Come on.
can attach it to the tree there. Hey, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. The sunset's beautiful, eh? Two rivers campsite number one. We stopped at Milk Flay. It's our last day here in the Halafadi. Uh, the whole trip has really been quite quiet to what we normally found. Uh, a little bit disappointing, but I suppose that's how it all goes. Right, we're on our way home. We stopped at Kalahari Manata again. And we'll be going through to Bloom. Bloom, some area there, some camps out there. We're not quite sure, either River of Joy or Kenderi. We'll just see what the time is. Uh, it's a So now we've started collecting our badges again for the second time round. Um, obviously we've got Kruger because that was one of the first places we went to. Then Namibia from II up to us to Commons Cook to Itosha to Swakopmund to Sosa's Flay and a couple of other places that we couldn't get badges from and then our favorite Khalakhadi um, next time we'll be adding our Botswana badges hopefully it all uh -huh. depends on what we can get of course what's available yep 